brandishing firearms. Anyway, like <laughs> brandishing firearms. Who are you to be brandishing those? Uh, that is. Put those well, god damn cannons away. Welcome. To, <laughs> I'll give you three guesses what happened before we went on the air, America. Um, welcome to IDD Celtics for those Mets in the know. Or I, I don't disagree. Yoda? Yoda? No, or Big Pipey. Big Pipey, Yoda, there's so many. Pipey. So many options to choose from. Uh, that is the redoubtable one himself, Thomas J. Is the high question one, Um uh, We are game two post game. The Boston Celtics um, closed out a 105 to 98 win tonight. Um, against the Dallas Mavericks uh, in a game that didn't ask, didn't lack for ifs and buts and what ifs and this, that, that, you know. So, basically, didn't lack for ifs, ifs and, and buts, buts and, you know, yeah, so. It what a perfect description. It really game. was, when you think about it. It didn't lack for ifs, buts, ants. Yeah, yeah, ants, what ifs, all that, you know. I mean, honestly, this is why, this is why the Boston Celtics drive their fans crazy. Um, you know, we talked about shooting being a rhythm thing. Boston comes out and goes 0 for 9 out of the gate from the 3. And we've always asked the question, why are you waiting for 0 f- to get to 0 for 9? Yes. Like, why aren't you... 0 for 5 is probably a good, yeah, good test. I think 0 for 4 might be a little better. <laughs> but they just kept jacking them <laughs> and found themselves down 3 at the end of the first quarter. And again, there's two ways to look at that. Well, they didn't make a shot, they were down 3. Or, if they had better shot selection, they might have been up 6 or 7. As opposed to being down three. Look, they won the game. They closed them out. They made defensive plays. They undoubtedly have to. They mm-hmm. made defensive plays again. Down the stretch when they had to. Derek White and Drew Holiday. Uh, I said it in the house. Um, I've said it. When, this is the best Celtics backcourt since Dennis Johnson and Danny Ainge. That is, that's saying something. Um, and I say that because what made those two great were not only did they complement stars like, you know, because they had Bird and McKell, These guys have Tatum and Brown. But what these two do is whenever this team needs a play, they don't hesitate to make it. No hesitation. They don't think twice about it, whether it's offense or defense. And they've – to holiday tonight, 11 of 14. Beautiful. 26 balls. points and 11 – from your point guard? And then Derek White, five steal, or yeah, three steals, two blocks, 18 points, five rebounds. And just big play after big play. They, they literally – and Dennis Johnson and always had, had a knack for making the right play at the right time. And that's what these two How many threes to do. did Derek White hit? I don't... Uh, he, he took some bad they ended, ones the, the team was only 10 for 39. Derek, Derek took some bad ones tonight. He also, he, he one was so bad, couple. it went to the side of the back, but he missed the room completely. <laughs> yeah. um, he did hit a couple big ones, though. Derek White, he, he was 4 for 10. So 40%, technically. Hmm. You'll live with 40%. As a so, coach. You know, shooting is threes is the closest thing to batting average that there is. Right? Agree. Yeah, you're right. Because if you shoot 40%. <laughs> if you shoot 40%, you're like yeah, you're a okay. top shooter. You are, and he was. Right? I mean, um, Jalen Brown, one for five. Holiday was two for four. He was the most efficient one. Tatum, one for six. Peyton Pritchard, one for two. Uh, look, they hit 10 out of 39. Dallas only made six again. Dallas is one of the most prolific three-point shooting teams in the league. Boston has really? taken that. Uh, yeah, they're in the top five. Um, prolific. And prolific. And uh, meaning it's part of, it's, a, it's a big part of their offense. But what would you say were the ifs and buts? You said this game didn't lack for ifs and buts. Well, what were the ifs if and buts? the Celtics had had better shot selection, mm-hmm. and then the buts are, well, <laughs> but they made Kyrie Irving into a shell of himself again. And again, they Kyrie Irving struggled for the second game in a row because they kept throwing different because they can throw different bodies at him, and he can never get into a rhythm because one play he's facing a six four guard, the next play he's facing a six six small forward, the next play he's facing a six ten power forward, then he's facing a six nine four. He can never. You want to know why he can't get into a rhythm? Because every possession he's looking at a different guy. And if you ain't knowing about man-to-man basketball, when you're play, if, you, if one guy's going to guard you, you're the whole you're going to figure him out, and it won't take the whole game to do it. But when you come down on almost every possession and a different person's mm-hmm. guarding you, and they're all like they 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 they're challenge all than they're you. all bigger than you number one, but they challenge you in different ways. It's like how do you? It's no, I'm not picking on them. I think anybody would have a hard time in this situation. It feels like it's the size mostly though. But they're quick enough. Oh, they're yeah, also right, quick enough to where he can um, he can beat them by a step, but they're long enough to make up for the they step. They can still alter the they shot. They can still alter the shot. Yeah. And so Kyrie Irving's had to work mm-hmm. for everything. I don't think Kyrie Irving is choking. I think the defense on him has been spectacular yeah. so far. 
because this, Kyrie Irving, and he'll probably tell you, look, you know, it, just look at the tape. He probably had eight, seven or eight different guys guard him tonight, and that would include Sam Hauser. He had almost, I think he had eight guys, Porzingis. I think he had eight guys, different guys that guarded him tonight. All different sizes, all different things that they did well. And he's trying to, on the fly, adjust. And that's hard to do when you have to keep doing it. Porzingis sing, seems to give him problems. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, it's only a couple times a game. It's not like a lot but of he can't shoot over him. Yeah, it's... And he's, because he's so long, you have to beat him by three steps. Yeah. Because two ain't going to do it. Because <laughs> he's 7'3". Seven, three. He's 7'3". I, I wonder what his wingspan it's is. It's long. It's very long. And you saw it... Um, when did they, it, was, it was a game the other night. His wingspan. How far... How much ground he really covers. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just... Again, he was... He was looking tonight. quite ginger, by he, the way. Yeah, at the end. end but again, it. 23 minutes because he, he had 12 points, four rebounds, two blocks. That's your sixth man. That's, yeah. that's, uh, I'll take that for my sixth man every night. How many blocks? Two. Two. Yep. Which is what he averages. He had three in the first game. Yeah. So, again, and again, we don't – I think it was a Charlie horse he got or, or a knee to the thigh. So, yeah. I don't think – they didn't even mention this in the post game, so I'm guessing it's no issue. They just kept him out as a precaution. Oops, Let's hope that that's the case. Um, it wasn't anything with his calf, though. It looked upper leg. Like, I think he got – I think he got a knee or something in the in the thigh or like that. That's what I think happened. Upper quad. Upper quad. Upper quad. And those will sting for a little bit, but they go away. <laughs> Yeah, it's easy for you to say. <laughs> it's happened to me. He's got he hasn't played till Wednesday night. I'd be willing to bet he's not gonna hurt Wednesday night. That's good. So That'd be a little sore. But again, they ball get Boston, some treatment. they will go to the cold tub. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you think about well, now now you before I get into my analysis here, I want you were mm-hmm. watching this with me tonight. What did you what was your take? You want the real analysis? What was your no, I wanted, I, Okay, so my take is just what's your take from it? I don't know. There were a lot of times tonight I just realized how much better the Celtics are than the Mavericks. That was my takeaway. Because, I don't know, it just they didn't even play that great. They and Dallas just could not pull away yeah. from them. I mean, I mean you like Dallas. Yeah. yeah. I, and, and, so, and every time I would look at the personnel that Dallas had and I'd be like, damn, who's that guard in Jason Tatum? Like, it would just be like, mm-hmm. it feels like a random player. No, it's... And maybe that's just because I don't watch Dallas, but yeah. like... well. When you think about like the star power or the actual yeah. ability of the guys, like the Celtics just have, they always have five guys out there that are above average. They're players. top six, except maybe Peyton Pritchard is not. I don't know that I'd call him above average. He's a good bench. He's player. He's a good bench player. So but, is Hauser when he's shooting well. But the problem is Hauser has to be shooting. Well. But like they, they have better people than yeah. Pritchard and Hauser. They do. You know, yeah, but nobody else. There are guys they <laughs> haven't even played yet that that are good, like Tillman mm-hmm. and K- and Kata. And the other, the, Cornette hasn't even played. Cornette, Cornette hasn't played yet. They've got other right. guys he like yet, Cornette. He first. hasn't played in this series yet. Oh, I think he played a little bit in game one. He Did played it? a little bit in game one. Yeah. No. Um, but the thing is, he didn't play tonight. But the thing is, no. they do have depth. They do have balance, and these guys all. And again, this is where I have to. Again, we're not. They're two wins from a championship. But, um, but I that was if, my takeaway. That. They are so even when they look bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it, much, just, still, it just feels like it's a it's a it's a done deal. Well, and you and you and I heard y'all saying, well, give them one game. It really shouldn't even go five games, unless, unless like well, they get to Dallas and and like I said, shit dra- dra- drastically. Like changes. I said, I don't know. See, you can we can sit there and say, Kyrie Irving is due. He's going to have a game, mm-hmm. one game in Dallas where he goes. It's just it's inevitable. He's too good of an offensive player. Okay? That's fine. I get that. But also, at some point, Jason Tatum's going to have a game. You would hope. At some point, he's going to have a game. In this at least season. a 30-point game. Yeah, he will. He'll have one, I think. And the thing is, if, if I'm Joe Missoula and I'm looking at that tape, I'm telling Jason Tatum, pull up from 12, pull mm-hmm. up from 13. Mm-hmm. Just pull up. Pull up You've from got to, 6. Just work on that. that. Jason Tatum could make that shot in his sleep. And so can Jalen Brown. When Jalen Brown did it in the second half a couple times, all of a sudden he got to 20 points again yeah. because he got a couple of those in there. When he, he was doing the same thing, mm-hmm. just kept over-penetrating, trying to get the foul. Hey, you can pull up from 10 every now and then. Yeah. That's what Luka does. Mm-hmm. Luka pulls up. Kyrie, Luka, actually. Kyrie does, does it a lot, too. Right. They all pull up from 10, 12, 15. The mid-range game. I've, you've, he's heard me at nauseam talk about this. And, and if Jason mm-hmm. Tatum was using his mid-range game right now, we wouldn't be, this, would, this wouldn't even be close. So I mean, If Kyrie can pull up with his height, 
Jason Tatum at his height? I said, Jason Tatum, when he stops on the diamond six nine and pulls up, no on one the can, no contest, one can the contest the shot. Can't contest the shot. And <laughs> Kevin Durant was the same way, and that's why no one could defend him. Because when he pulls up on a dime, because one, you know where he's pulling up. Then you have that wingspan and that height. And you can't get to him. And he's athletic, so he jumps. Like, yeah. so if I'm Joe Missoula. He jumps. I, I said, I'm challenging. How many pull-up jump shots can you make in the next mm. game? How many? I'm gonna give you. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give you 500 bucks for everyone you fucking do it, okay? And see how many he hits in there, because that'd be worth 10 of those. I mean, two-handed rim finishes would be nice too, because I feel like every time he they're does waiting, that too, they're all waiting for him at the rim. This is why. So you he, think he shouldn't go all the way in? Nope, pull right up. He can make a 10 footer. There a was a couple times he went in for a two-handed dunk and got fouled. He did. And it's like, I'm not saying never do like, it. I'm saying play the play the odds. Yeah. That's all. If there's one guy in there, challenge him. If there's two guys in there, pull it. up. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Pull up. Because two against one and they both can jump two. It's, that's, <laughs> it's not your... The, 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 pull the, up. Pull up. Pull up. If it's one on one, okay, take him. Two on one or more, pull, pull up. up. Pull up. That's it. And they could not they could not contest him. Mm. No way. Not Luca. <laughs> not Noah. Up. Just pull up. So pull up. I got to believe at some point, because I've seen him do this. It's not like he can't do it. Um, Tatum's going to figure that out. And when he does, that's going to be his 35, 40 point game. Because if, when he does, that's what will happen. Yeah. So, um, look, I'm glad he they. He hasn't really shot the three well either. He was one for seven tonight. Yeah. But again, he had the 12 assists. No, I don't I'm think. Fine with what Tatum's I don't done. think Jason Tatum has played bad. No, yet. he hasn't. He just hasn't had his A game yet. But when his shot's been off, he's contributed in other ways. He had 11 rebounds in game one and five assists. Tonight he had nine rebounds, 12 assists. He's doing other things to help his team win. Here's one thing. And I'm, by the way, his defense. Yeah. He had he was better on defense tonight. He was much better on defense tonight. Dude, one thing I'll disagree with from the post game people, mm. Bob, the Golden State Warriors guy who I know knows a lot more basketball than me, um, but he said that, oh, yeah, well, I mean, Boston hasn't had their A game. Either has Dallas. I was like – I just don't know if Dallas is capable of having like their best game against y'all. Yeah, because he's saying it like it's them, not Boston. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm like if Boston keeps playing <laughs> defense like this, they you won't, won't see it. their yeah, game because Boston will take it away from yeah. them. Yeah. And again, if I'm Jason Kidd, he threw them. He threw that mushroom out there, a bomb out there, and nothing, and nothing didn't explode. And and mm -hmm. and by the way, everything that he wanted to happen happened. The Celtics shot awful from the three. Luca had 11 assists. He had one in game one. Okay? So they spread the ball around. Well, they had three guys in double figures. Actually, they had four, um, as opposed to just the PJ two. PJ in double figures, too? Yeah. He had 17 and something like okay. 13. And yeah. So there was four of them in double figures for Dallas. So they spread the ball around. They did what they wanted to do, and Tatum had an off night on top of it, and they still lost. Yeah. So they can say... And again, you can't have one without the other. You can sit there and say, well, what if Kyrie's better? Well, what if Tatum's better? Because <laughs> that's a wash. Mm -hmm. Worst case, that's a wash for the Celtics. Mm. Okay? So you can't say Hold one without mouth. you can't say one without the other. That's all I'm saying. Tonight's hero was Jeru Holiday. 26 points, 11 rebounds. Um, Marcus who? <laughs> Seriously. Marcus who? <laughs> Remember like, when he yeah. remember when he left and everybody was up in arms? Yeah. No, now, that no. was before Holiday came in. But I wasn't up in arms. I was singing this. I was singing it. Singing the blues? No, I was singing that the Celtics just became the unquestioned favorite to win the NBA title. They already had Porzingis. When they got him, that was it. That was the nail. That was the nail. They were the unquestioned favorite from that point on, just if they stay it's just stay healthy. They're, if they're healthy at the end of the year, it's theirs to lose. And yeah, it's theirs to lose. They were right where we thought they would be the moment that trade happened if they stayed healthy. Aren't sad? we? So, look, I can nitpick about the shot selection and, it, again, the, t the timing of it as, as on top of everything you else. You can and you will. Um, but <laughs> at the end of the day, they survived a large triple-double from Luka Doncic and another bad <laughs> shooting night from Jason Tatum, who still contributed in other ways. They're up 2-0. I'm not going to bitch about that. Because that tells us what? They can handle adversity. Things can go wrong, and now they are good enough, to, mature enough to overcome them. Mm -hmm. They look, they usually, in the past, and you know this, if they shot 25% from the three, they lost that game. Mm. They didn't tonight. They did other things. They did, they, they, they did it tonight. 
So this team has matured, has developed, it has caught himself when they've wet themselves. Would you say matures? Before. They have matured. You know, I, matured. Would you, I think, matured. I think, well, so there's matured. matured, but then matured is slightly above matured. Is it really? Yeah. Because when somebody says mature, I like, they're Did like, you know like they're a British fuck that's like, you know, very oh, mature. Matured. So. Oh, the British so, do that. Yeah. Oh, they're I stiff right, asses. Right, anyway. like the, I can see the British Very mature. That. That, <laughs> you know what? I would, I would believe that. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's very mature for his age. He's very mature. It's not a <laughs> stiff-ass Brit. Yeah. <laughs> very mature. He's mature. So I think I think when you've matured, yeah. it's almost an even more sophisticated maturing. So I, I think that, I think the uh, Celtics are getting there. I think they are getting there. Because tonight, not everything went right for them. <laughs> and in times, at times, again, what? They got in their own way. But they made the plays, again, that they had to make when they needed to make. <laughs> I mean, dare you say it, a little bit of maturity. Maturity. <laughs> um, that too. So, I would say game three is Wednesday night. They now here's the thing, you know Wednesday night you're gonna see Dallas today game or the they're gonna really this is where Are Dallas. Well, can Dallas play an A game? I, there, if Boston shows up, there's validity to really. what you're saying. Here's the thing: A will Boston show up? And this yes, is this is yes, where this is where again that hope comes in that they've matured <laughs> <laughs> because now they they think to themselves we get the third one it's over mm. oh without a doubt it's over it's fucking over yeah even if they st- do they have they getting four we go back to Boston is, and close it is out is the killer instinct there to go take their heart in game three because you take you win game mm. three you've taken their heart you have dude even I, at this point even Jason Kidd would be like dude have you did did you hear Let's all get the one. little did you hear all the little peekins that they did where Jalen Brown was like mic'd up. They would do like the, the look ins and you'd I heard a couple of them. He was relaxed as fuck. He was. They're, yeah. And and Bon Temps. It sounded like they were just playing and he was in their ear going, yeah. Hey, we got this. One play at a time. And everybody's just like, Yeah. There's no panic. Like, not at all. They're very <laughs> they are this is a different team. Mentally, it's a different team. And again, even when they fuck up and have a mental a brain fart, they catch themselves. Mm-hmm. They wake themselves up, they, and, they, and, and the coaches are better at calling timeouts when they need to. Um, the bench is better. I mean, no, look, they, they have – this is a much better team than the one that was out here last year. Mm-hmm. It is. So, it's like – this is the thing. I, I hope, given what Derek White – I mean, you, you heard Derek White in the post game. Mm-hmm. We haven't done anything yet. We're, we're a long way he said, from our he goal. He said we're really far from we're our really goal. We're really far from our goal. Yeah. Like, did that sound like, like... Two games, two, really yeah, far? Yeah, two games. But Damn, this, he's locked in. <laughs> but this is what gives me hope. Yeah. Because they're, they're, all, they're all saying it. Mm-hmm. So... That was funny when that one guy, Bob, was trying to was talking to him about the defense. And he's like, you know, last... It was almost like he was trying to go negative. Yeah. You know, he was like, I mean, <clears throat> you know... Last series against Indiana, your defense wasn't as effective. Like, what's the difference? Like, it was almost like taking the negative side of the comment. And, and Derek White goes, "You could ask Josh. Indiana's just hard to guard." Well, he was just like, "I don't." He was like, "It was just hard to guard." I, Indiana. I love the response. That's, <laughs> but but here's why. And we said this on the show. The number one offense in the NBA was the Indiana Pacers, mm-hmm. yeah, not yeah. the Dallas Mavericks. Right. In fact, <laughs> Dallas wasn't even in the top four. So, mm, is that true? Yeah, they're in the top ten. They're eighth. So Indiana they, was tops in the entire league, not just they were the, the number East. the whole league. Mm. Go look at their games against Minnesota. They didn't shut them down either. Nobody yeah. did. Nobody yeah. did. They could score. They had seven guys averaging double figures. <laughs> yeah. You fucking kidding me? Yeah. Like no. So you and they play fast pace, so you mm-hmm. can't stop yeah. running. Or they get you. So it's a very they all unique. Still swept him. I it, mean, I know yeah. Halliburton was out, but but yeah. So well, Porzingis was out, and he's been a big part of this 2-0 lead. Yeah, but it was it was funny because Derek White was kind of saying like, "Dude, that's nothing like guarding this team. Like this team is not that good offensively, yeah. basically." Well, he, he, like he didn't come out and say that, no, but he was like, but he also "Look, it's knows a different matchup, it's a, different, a different style." Yeah, they're like, they're heavy on two guys. Yeah. Indiana had seven. Yeah. Okay. So who is the White guy? I the could, little dude? Yeah. Oh, you got your hate. Bumblebee there. I I, I don't what? hate him anymore. What do we I call like him? He was, I, I liked how he played. What was him. his name? I, I it was one of those, like, name. names. Like a cool. Cool. What was, was, that, his was name? that a Coolidge? Was that <laughs> Jacob? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. But, you know. Kind of like a Travis Best what, type. <laughs> what was his name? 
I can just look it <laughs> Damn up. Damn it. The power of technology. Look at this. What was that man's name? Um, Dude, that guy, that guy was actually, at times, he was kind of dominant, that little dude. That little shit. He drove us crazy. Because he was dude, good. He could dominate a few minutes of a game at a time. Yeah, because he was good. He was a legit player. He was, he was you know, don't the classic don't judge a book by its cover. I mean. Taking he, a jump shot, he jumps like five feet off the ground. Like, Jesus Christ, Ray Allen. Name? <laughs> T.J. McConnell. Yes, McConnell. T.J. McConnell. Is he from Syracuse? Detective was that, McConnell. Was, or is that a different... <laughs> Officer McConnell. Is he from Syracuse? Am I thinking... About... Sergeant McConnell. What? Sorry. Was he from Syracuse? Am I thinking about a different guy? Was McConnell from Syracuse? Yeah. I don't know. Was he? I thought he was... Um, where was he? I don't know. McConnell. Or am I thinking of a different Mick from... T.J. Uh, McConnell. Arizona. Arizona. Who was the Mick in... Uh, I don't know, UConn maybe. What that? That's or no on Syracuse? Wasn't it, was there a Makana or a McGonnell? Maybe not. There was a white guy who was pretty good. Uh, was it a Mick last night? And I'm not saying Mick like Irish. Like I mean, obviously it is Irish. Was it a Mick? Was it? I'm not saying Mick like a slur. Like his last name was Mick, I think yeah. McConaughey or something. <laughs> McGonaghy was. I don't know who you're talking about. Wasn't McGonaghy the? uh, There was a look up Syracuse White. (laughs) Make name. (laughs) We'll be like, Uh, um, we have a lot of those. uh, A lot of Irish in Syracuse. Well, I I don't know about total. Northeast has a lot of Irish. Yeah, it might be. I don't know. That's how I'm half Irish. Yeah. So. Um, anyway, that's correct. I am. Yeah, the, so Shepherd's pie. The Celtics have guys like that, you know that, and they're just different positions. So, to to, to Tommy's point, this should not go. Did five. I did I just make a point? You've been saying all along you'd be shocked if this went six. Now you're yeah. you're looking like yeah, they might I, not. They may not like come back from Dallas. That's what it feels like. Yeah. But so I, I thought, and again, Luca to, to his point, Luca should will probably get him one in Dallas. Question is, which one is he going to get? I just can't. I'd be shocked if if, if this was two two. In the yeah. Before. I'd be shocked. Um, that would mean the only way I wouldn't be shocked if somebody if Porzingis actually really hurt again or something like that happened. Um, I still feel like they can overcome that. They can. It'll be a harder series. They, well, they, again, but, they have other big men they can use. Yeah. So the thing is, they're not like if he goes down, that they, they have no one at that position who can do yeah. the job, do yeah. a good job. They're not him, but they can still hold the fort. Mm-hmm. Um, because just, they just have so much other talent around. Yeah. That, you're, to his point, one, one guy like that probably won't kill them. But you don't want to see it either and find out. So, um, look. What did you think about uh, Missoula post game? Well, he's talking tired. about the Peyton Pritchard. The shot? Shot. Didn't he say like that was one of the most important parts of the game? Well, because he came in off the bench cold, and he had the guts to take the shot. Well, you and I have always said that some guys don't take the shot. You know what I mean? And in, I mean, I think, like, why wouldn't you? Like, well, especially in the playoffs where every possession I can't possession remember the last matters. time I saw a guy go, no, I'm not shooting that shot. Yeah, I mean, I keep hearing people say that. When's the last time you saw a player go, I'm not messing my shot up? Shot up. My shot selection? Well, yeah, my, my percentage. shot percentage. Up. I haven't seen that. Uh, I don't know that I've seen it recently. I don't think I have. Because, like, I don't, rem- last, I don't remember. The last had... two announcers that have called that, like, SVP tonight on SportsCenter said that. Mm. Some guys are too cool to shoot. When's the last time you saw a guy too cool to shoot? I don't know. I, that seems to me the most fun part of basketball. <laughs> so, like, do you think this is, like, Just some me, fabricated yeah. thing that people are like, yeah, there's so many people out there that. You know, they won't take that shot because they're not going to mess up their shooting percentage. Uh, I don't know. If you, if you make it, you're on Sports Center. Exactly. It's worth that shot. It's worth that mm. right there. Yeah. Then you become a household name. Right. Then and, the status and, and, and by the way, is even more. The more ridiculous the shot is, the more it gets talked about. Just throw it over your shoulder. Yeah. You Boom. make something crazy happen at the end of the quarter. Let them, oh my God, that's, gonna, <laughs> that's guaranteed to be on the highlight reel. Even if you're down, yeah, there was Even one. Even it's like the end of a quarter, they yeah. show it. Even if you're getting bum blasted, there was, was one bright spot yes. tonight. Tom Izzo, at the end of the third quarter, fired up a 35-foot hook shot. No, no. Left-handed. I mean, imagine going to your Blindfolded. <laughs> imagine going to your funeral, and the story was, yeah, he was a good lad, but I remember that time the clock was running down in the second quarter, 
He wouldn't take the shot. He didn't want to mess up his shooting and percentage. And that dead motherfucker was more concerned with his shot. Could you imagine living a life like that? True, Ryan? they're up 28, but I digress. No, I'm, ju- I'm just trying to find the... <laughs> I'm trying to find the player that did that. I don't know that this that I keep hearing about. I don't. I haven't seen it <laughs> Never. Ever, lately. Never. I, I mean, I have. I seen don't think them. I've ever seen it. I have seen them, but it's not often. You, so you're telling me you've seen a guy who had, let's say, three and a half seconds left, inbounded the ball and made no attempt to get a shot. There because, was a guy on the Celtics. Yeah, we. I, I remember. Don't lie him. to me. I'm not lying to you. It sounds like you're going into a. a Cauldron of stories that might be fabricated. No, there was this guy on the Celtics who would (laughs) not, I don't care what, uh, he would not, he wasn't a starter, but he would not take that shot. At the end of a quarter? Yeah. Ever? No, if he was wide open, he shot it. But if he had to take a dribble or two to just try and get it up, he wouldn't do it. He would just dribble it out. And And do you think that was for the percentage or just? I don't know. No confidence. I always, the first time he did it, I didn't think nothing of it. Mm-hmm. But then he did it like four or five other situations. And again, the, 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 it was the Celtics, they were generally winning. So that's what, but again, every now and then, that was the, it wasn't the end of a game, it was the end of a quarter. The game's not over yet. Why are you taking it? So what happened then is like, then I started to suspect. I don't know for certain if he so, did. So it was never, it wasn't a thing that I was never talked about. It was never confirmed, let's put it that way. It was never proven false either. But <laughs> it was never confirmed. So I'm just saying, I saw this guy do this. A number of times. And at first I dismissed it because of the situation. Who was it? Connor Henry. I don't know who that is. He was a good shooter, but I saw him do this a few times. Um, more than a few times, I'm sorry. Because a few times is coincidence. This guy was a Celtic? Yep. He was a pasty white dude who could shoot. He was a good shooter. How many shots a game? I don't know, but they, he, he came off the bench in one game and had went seven for seven from the three. Yeah, this. Is... This is at the end of the Bird era. And um, <laughs> this guy comes off the bench, and no one, every like, no one, people seven for seven for, in from one the game? three in one game in, in the eighties, yeah, in a quarter and a half. Yeah, damn. Well, no, it was early nineties. It was ninety one. I don't know the way like we look back on the game. People act like they didn't even shoot that many threes. Well, average per game, they did not. But they but did. But there were some them. guys that that got hot and went nuts like yeah, that. Yeah, Bird had Bird had multiple games where he had seven threes in a game. Oh, that's. Um, I I remember, yeah. And a lot of games when he was trying, when he when he was on, he'd hit three or four routinely. Yeah. But there were games when he didn't even take it because he didn't need to. Mm-hmm. Again, he used it as a weapon, usually like as a dagger or to break momentum. Like he was, he was very. Bird was. Think about Bird and his three pointers. They were all timely. They were all at that time when they needed a, either the Celtics needed a, or he could put a team away with it. And he always knew when to use it, and because he it, it seemed like nine times out of ten he always hit it. Like in that, he knew in that moment when to go for the dagger and a three. His a bird three would just fuck it, especially if it was in Boston. The dagger God. three. It was the dagger. It was the definition of a dagger. Did he invent the dagger three? Uh, yeah, he did. Bird did. Bird did. Is it? Is this a debatable topic? No, he was the first. He's the first. You one. sure? Yep. The first three point shot. Was would a made. Laker fan argue it was somebody else? Or no, they didn't have shooters like that. Robert Horry, you mean? No. Who? I mean, you can't say Robert Orr was a better shooter than Larry Bird. He wasn't. Right? But I mean, the thing is... Um, no, I was just asking, were there any shooters like back in Larry's time? Mark Price was an excellent... Cleveland was an amazing shooter. Um, he, and he could pull up from anywhere. He was another one. Um, Isaiah Thomas was an amazing shooter. Really? Yeah, he was. He doesn't get Do you hear a song being played? Yep. The guy's up there smoking peyote. It sounds like a Disney princess song. Is that what I'm hearing? It could. I think it stopped. Um, I'm hearing like Moana anyway. in my head. Anyway, what we're saying? Oh, Bird. <laughs> Sorry, that was messing with so, me. No, they were. They it's were like, I'm like, am I hearing it? Am I really hearing it? Yeah, there were a lot or of. Or am I going nuts? There were a lot of great shooters in the in the 80s and 90s. Were they? Just, yeah, but they were more mid range. They could all hit the three, but it wasn't their primary weapon. Reggie Miller. Yep. I mean, there was a few of them who. Really, Craig Hodges when he was on. Um, where would you classify? Jeff where would you classify Tim Legler? He led. There were some years he, where he was a sharp. He shooter. led the league in three point shooting one year. He I think he won, Wizards? he won a three point shooting contest at the All Star Weekend. He won one of those. Okay. Um, so he was a he was a known sm- a marksman. He was a sniper. Is he like a top twenty shooter of all time? I wouldn't say so. No. 
I get, the more I think about it, just in my lifetime, I've seen some pretty. He did have a short spurt though, where he was like Dale, he Dale was like, Ellis. I mean, I could. You start really thinking about this. I Dale mean, Ellis was that good? Yeah, he was an amazing shooter. Yeah, Dale Ellis. Um, where you put Dell Curry? Dell was an amazing shooter. Yeah. Yeah, he was. But he was. Think about him. Was he was he had to come off picks. He was a standstill shooter. Mm. He we didn't. He couldn't create that shot. He had a jump shot. Look at it wrong mm. But he couldn't. He didn't pull up on the three. He was a set shooter. You come off the screen, and if you left him open, yeah, you're more likely to pay for it. Where's Glenn um, Rice in the... Uh... He's kind of tier two. Tier two? Yeah. He's good, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put him as all-time great shooter. Yeah, yeah. Good shooter. Not a guy you want to leave open on the wing. I tell you that right now. Um, <laughs> but, um, like I said, if you, they were there. The game was just different. Though. Steve Kerr? It was more... Steve Kerr was a good shooter. John Paxton. The first Bulls 3P. He was a sniper. Dude, I feel like Steve Nash became um, a really good he shooter. He did. He became a really good shooter, too. And Nash could always shoot. You saw him in Santa Clara, which I did. He could shoot. He knew See, I feel like early on he didn't shoot like he did No, he did. Later. He just he, he went did. to the basket more when he was younger. Mm. And then as you get older and you're taking a pounding, you start going further and further and yeah. further away from the basket. It's just human nature. So, because that's, that's how you last long in that league. Because once your speed mm. goes and you can't, you start backing up and you better be able to make that shot because mm. that will extend your career by five years. See Chris Paul. So um, the thing is, the, <laughs> two words. Uh, the thing is, the Celtics <laughs> to me <Chris> Paul. <laughs> have to approach this as we are two wins away, and you have to be. Oh, we'll get it when we get it. No, well, you want to get it now. Like I want, I can, I want that celebration. Get it while we're getting this. Get game. it while we're getting. I don't want to wait another day. I don't care. Fuck the ratings. Fuck the. I, I want this fucking thing over now. I want to hold that trophy. All this shit. All this. Stuff, I want to. I wouldn't put this off one more day. Like I'd be chopping at the bit to play. I want to play tomorrow if I was the Celtics. I wouldn't want to wait three, two more, three days to play them. I want to play them now. Like, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is this stuff being? Have you been ordering this shit? What? No, I've had all this shit. How long? Decades. Really? The last banner on that sweater is 2008. That is 16 years old. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'd like to add one to it. Um, new yeah. sweatshirt next year. Yeah. New sweatshirt yeah. next year. And uh, if the Celtics would you do, burn that one or would you just put it away? I'll never burn that. Okay. No, I'll probably find a way to put a patch on it. Mm. Oh, you wouldn't just order a new one? Maybe. Well, maybe they won't, maybe they're not making. I don't know if they make it anymore, but I mean, that's I a know. real ballsy sweatshirt. Just here are all my championships. So yeah. I'm cold. Let me put my sweatshirt <laughs> yeah. on. Here's 17 <laughs> bitches for all those of you this think is, I suffer. It's like, I uh, never said I'm her. sorry. I, you know, I'm typically very humble, but I'm cold right now. I only Give bring that. chips, bitch. I only bring that sweater out if they go to the finals. You never see it unless they're in the finals. Okay, that's, that's respectable. respectable. It's respectable. I don't fucking flash it around in the first week of fucking October <laughs> when they have played five fucking games and they're three and you two. You don't go to All Star Weekend wearing that no. thing. No. No. A little Valentine's date. I could see you with a college shirt. Uh, only if college they, shirt. No. No. Finals. They're okay. Not in the finals, you don't see. All-Star see Weekend, right around Valentine's Day. Throw that on. Oh. White collar underneath it. Pair of khakis. You might see. Like you're going to a high school. If they have a player that I that, that's a champion on the team now and they have a shirt, I might wear their shirt on All-Star Weekend. Oh, sure. Because yeah. they're currently playing. I, yeah, I want to support them. Um, but you rarely throw the basketball jersey on midseason. You'll never see me do it midseason. You've never seen me do it. Well, you only do it for playoffs? If the guy's in the All Star Game, I'll do it. Um, playoffs. You'll rock. You'll rock the jersey day of All Star Game. Yeah, I will. All Star Game. <laughs> if, they, if, they're the, <laughs> if they're in the dunk contest, I'll do. You know, I wear it that for that. If they're in the three, I wear it for that. Yeah, yeah, I will. Did, it's All Star Weekend, seen, man. You don't have a Red Sox jersey. I do have a Dave Dave Ortiz. But like, I've never seen you wear a Red Sox jersey. I'm sorry. You do have one. I have a couple of Red Sox. I've never seen you don the jersey. <laughs> I think I think Wait, the 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 plain one that any I have Red Sox. I've never seen you a in a t-shirt Red Sox jersey. You've seen me in a t-shirt. Jersey. Oh, a game jersey. I've seen you in a basketball game jersey. I've seen you in your fucking football team. Uh -huh. But your Red Sox, you never put one of these on. These are the best jerseys. They're like shirts. I've got one that has no number or name on it. That's red. I expect to see that in a show sometime soon. If they I think they lost again today. It's <laughs> baseball season. Um, the Celtics are about to end the most boring finals in the last. Shut years. up! 
It's, and it's about to get really exciting, Mr. That's Jinx. That's what they're going to do. Mr. We're gonna Jinx. We're gonna, you're going to act nervous for the next two games. You're being an asshole right Celtics now. Just you're bitch. You're trying to make me nervous. You are preying <laughs> the, the upon the my paranoia. bitch and pound and bitch and pound. That is not a good friend, I mean, America. That's they not just, a good friend. They're going to take the Mavericks right by their scruffy little tails. That is not a good friend. What are they looking for? Is a Maverick? Yeah, that's like oh, a the horse, record. right? Mavericks have tails. Right? A Maverick is a horse? Yes. Yeah. The Red Sox won today, so they're 33 and 33. Oh, they finally beat the White Sox. They, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Any chance he gets? <laughs> Just a poke at you. Hey, dude, you're, I mean, you're living in heaven right now. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Celtics are about to win. I, and my team's all yeah. blow. Well, they finally beat the White Sox <laughs> today. My, oh. my team's all blow. We okay. should have a parade. <laughs> I shouldn't say my team's all blown. No, they don't. Knicks, Knicks were great this the year. The Knicks had a hell of a year. Knicks and if they weren't banged up, they they would have played Boston. Yeah. Like, they would have. I, I, yeah, they, those dudes, they got my respect. I love I, I, I love them, but I hate them. Because now they're going to be in the, they're gonna be in our way for the foreseeable future. I, I hope so. Them. They will be. What would you think about... Uh, uh, sorry. Um, you know, I just have to do that to catch my <laughs> breath sometimes. Uh uh, learn very early on in life that when you yawn does not mean you're tired or bored. It means your brain needs oxygen. So oh, stop is? judging me. That's right. I can yawn. Okay. Um, He's a little oxygen, America. That's right. Have a heart. I mean, Jesus Jeez, Christ. Yeah. I'm slightly obese here. I need a little, oxygen, a little more oxygen. A little, little, little oxygen. A little O2. Right. A little O2. Just the O2. A little O2. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No, that's not no, that funny. You're right. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it is, though. It is. <laughs> I'm going to do a little okay. in a minute. <laughs> so, in the next week or two, maybe, maybe. you show up rocking, rocking a little poppy. I'll put poppy little, on. little Ortiz. I love David. And on that night, David Ortiz. we shall also say hello to Big Pipey, who yeah. happens to be pipey? right poppy. in the poppy. center poppy. of the set. Pipey, poppy, poppy, got it? Pipey, pipey. Okay. Poppy, pop, pop, uh, poppy, 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 pop, pipe, pop. Now that no one knows where we're going, um, uh, what I was trying to say was, <laughs> before you went off the end of the road on your giggle fest, was Sorry. that uh, you said little too, little too, little too. He's got his little O2. Little O2. We're going to get a sign that says little O2 back there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's terrible. Um, anyway, he's not going to stop laughing. Um, hey, hold on. Hold on. I can't. What? You got to breathe. You need a little, little O2. <laughs> I just need a little O2. Little O2. Little O2. Oh, you need some O2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, terrible. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> so, in closing. <laughs> was, about, was I talking about the Mets when I said? When you I were why asking why you haven't seen me wear a, a Red Sox oh, that's right. game jersey. That's when we went off the, the rails again. Yeah. Um, and so, we're talking about the Knicks somehow. Yeah, well, no, I'm saying the Knicks have my respect. They're 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 going the right way, and I think if they're healthy next year, it's them in Boston. Dang. Um, and I think that they also can. They're going to become a destination team because they're they're a contender now. Yeah. They have to be considered a contender. Think of all those injuries and where they got to. Most teams would have got out in the first round. No way. Right. So, but it's a Celtics time yeah. right now. So, I appreciate the appreciate so, the. 30 no. seconds on the Knicks. No, I respect them. The I, I give credit where credit is due. I, I, I don't like them. I respect them. They're good. Oh, I brought them up because I wanted your take on Josh Hart. What'd you think? What, doing the... Um, yeah. I mean, it's very quick hits, but... Well, no. He knows what he's talking about. Um, yeah. And, you know, he did say, look, the Celtics did not play their A game tonight. And, mm. they, and this is the sign of growth because they can, they, they can overcome adversity. Yeah. Legitimate adversity. I mean, they went two for 14 from the three in the first half, and Tatum had five points. They were up three at the half. And Luke had 23 points. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, that doesn't happen unless your team is truly a team. 
Mm. And then you have guys that can step up and don't even think twice about it because it's like, all right, tonight's my night to do this, and then just go and do it. Yeah. They're a team in every sense of the word, and that's the thing that I love about them. So, Dude, but it was funny like when, when the guys on the set would say, you know, and, and Josh Hart did this at one point, and I think Bob might have done it too, whatever Bob's last name is. Myers. Bob Myers. Yeah. They said, I mean, some of these other guys have to get involved. And then and then um, they had to look at the list of people mm. to say who that was going to be. Did you notice that? Yeah. I did. It was like, I mean, you know, you have to get the ball out of Luca's hands and, and Kyrie's hands, and you have to let these people initiate offense. And then it's like, let me look at my iPad to see um, who those other people, <laughs> those are, people are, are that need to be initiating this <laughs> offense. Twice they did that. There they so had to refer to the roster yeah, we're two, to, to tell you who needed to score in addition to them. We're two games into this series, and they can't tell you who these people are. And it was funny because you could see it in Josh Hart's eyes as he looked down. He was like, I mean, Max Cleaver? Like, he's got to hit some shots. He was like, Damn, He knows they don't that have. That guy's got to do something? They don't have Boston's depth either. Right. They really don't. And um, so, again, they, they're halfway there. They're halfway there. They can taste it. This is the thing. They have to be hungry for it. And now this is where, this is where you forget taking your foot off the ass. Now let's kill them now. Let's end this now. They, they, t they can taste it. Um, and the hope is that, that that's going to be the mentality. I don't give a damn when we play these guys. We're going to kick their ass. That's it. This, we're better than this team. We're not, we're not even going to let them breathe. So mm -hmm. it's over. It's over. We're going to fucking put them down. We're going to put them down right in front of their own fans. By the way, you know, you know how fucking hard that is to do? <laughs> okay? Because teams at home that, that are this good, like the math, they're, ten, they're not 10 points better at home. They're 15, 20 points better at home. You think so? Yeah. They are. But, but, but to your point, but the you'd be shocked if, they, if it went back 2-2. Two, two. And if they go back 3-1, the bad, series is ending this is in a, Boston. This is a bad matchup for Dallas. Yeah. I said this before the series. This was not the team they wanted to see. Only the only other team that has their personnel that's equipped to deal with them is to, is is ironically New York. They only have one because so, it's about defense. Yeah, you got Hart and in and Obi, and you've got and if, mm. and if Randall's healthy. You could you have a guy that can firepower without the match. You got enough bodies. Yeah. You have the firepower. You have depth. You have enough defense. You have everything. Yeah. And and they have and they play defense. Yeah. And it travels so. This is a bad matchup for the Dallas Mavericks. I don't care. There's only so much X's and O's Jason Kidd can do. And everything he wanted to have, he said this. We need Luka to, we need to get more assists, more ball blowing. Luka had 11 assists. Kyrie had six. They got what they wanted. Okay, they wanted Luka to take more shots. He took 21, but he was efficient. He made 12 out of 21. He had 32 points. They wanted you guys to miss more threes. They, we did. <laughs> Tatum, I hope Tatum had another off night. He did. Mm -hmm. Didn't matter. Christoph Porzingis got hurt and had to leave the game early. Didn't matter. Didn't fucking matter. <laughs> Think about all this shit the Celtics overcame tonight. Okay? This is what I'm saying. They, this, is, this is a different team. And they didn't flinch. These things are all happening in the same game. And they just, all right, what do we have to do to win? Mm -hmm. And they just, they calmly, you said, you, you talked about it, how calm Derek White was and how calm Jalen well, Brown Jaylen seemed Brown. Brown on the mic. Up yeah. The whole time. And it was like, it was kind of like one of those guys who's just constantly positive. <laughs> like, at, at like a rec game. Like, that's how... His heartbeat was just well, like we got this, guys. Come no on, no pressure at all. Like, yeah, business. And everybody that responded business. to him was just kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That they are, they, they have this quiet calm about them. And you hear Derek White talk in the post game, and, and Drew Holland, they're very humble. We ain't done shit. Derek White, yeah, super humble. You know, yeah, they, they, the two of them, they are the. I said it before. I'll say it again. They're the best backcourt in Boston since DJ and Ainge. That's a Hall of Fame backcourt. And these two are very similar, and that they make. They make the plays when it's needed. It's always the right decision. And they're so reliable. Old you, they're, reliable. They're reliable. Like, this is a consistent thing. It's not once. They're consistently like this. Mm -hmm. So, that, I thought it was interesting that what Derek White said on the post game what? when um, Josh Hart was asking him how, why he's always better in the fourth quarter. You know, he was, like, he was like, you, you make all these plays. It might be a game-saving block or a three-pointer. Mm -hmm. Always in the fourth quarter. And he was like, I have to breathe because I get wound up too tight. And I was like, damn, it doesn't appear like that on the court. Like, he seems he, very in control. Because he breathes. Um, yeah, but but I will say this. I saw him take some, like, pretty crazy threes tonight where he was like. In the third quarter, yes. And so in particular. It, it's interesting because maybe those were the moments where he was wound up a little too tight and he was just kind of, you know. They wet themselves and they catch themselves. Yeah. 
That's which, a per- which perfect, I think that's that's great. That's actually. a perfect example right there. We just said he took some ill-advised threes in the third quarter, but then he just shrugged it off and he focused and did and all the, the right things right. in the fourth quarter. And the fourth quarter, and it, was, it was where he, he needed to be. Yeah, he realized, all right, yeah. hold on, we're up six. We got this. I just yeah. gotta just do my job. Mm-hmm. Make no more mistakes. Like no more mistakes. And he didn't make one in the fourth quarter. After a very the, mistake. I mean, they 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 you know they, there was some stupid. The right. shot selection tonight was bad, bad. Just and. Pat, they were passing up too many shots in the paint. Too many. And there was oh, a couple threes all. that they hit where we both went, no. oh. Yeah. I mean, but look, the thing is, at most of the and shots, they hit them. <laughs> most of the threes they took were wide open. Yeah. So they weren't bad shots per se, but the guy, the guy who we had a better shot. He was in close, no one could, mm-hmm. it's just. So that's the one, that's my one red flag. Okay. Um, uh, hopefully. Is it red? Yeah, it is. Yellow. It's red until they get the third. If they win game three. Orange flag. It's not completely red. It's red. Yeah? They've done it too many times. Okay. They're still doing it. But the difference, the, again, the difference is they catch themselves. They do. Mm-hmm. It seems, and it always seems right lately like it's in the nick of time. Like, thank God. <laughs> but they also, like, you continue know. to play hard. I don't think they stop. You know stop. what I'm saying? Like, the, 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 which is why they stay in games even when they can't shoot. They always play hard. They don't always play smart. Yeah. yeah that's, that's I'd rather play true. hard than smart than hard and dumb. Yeah. And that was it. They would play hard. They played hard last year, but they would they did dumb things at the wrong time. Mm. And it was their best players. This shit has been far yeah. less of that. They still have... Look, D- Jalen Brown had six turnovers tonight. They'd have lost last year if he had six turnovers. Mm-hmm. But they didn't because this is a different team. Mm. They can overcome these. They had adversity tonight. Like that's one example. Of things I don't even mention. It's interesting that yeah. that he had that many turnovers because yeah. when I think about his impact on the game, it felt very positive. He had six turnovers. <laughs> what, what was the rest of his line? Twenty-one seven three. That's that's good too. Twenty-one points, seven assists, uh, three steals. Uh, any rebounds to speak of? I don't know. No, like maybe three or four. I don't know. But the thing was seven assists. Three steals. Yeah. Um, and then you got Tatum going 18, 12, and 9, and everybody's ready to kill him. <laughs> I, I, and then, but then Drew Holiday did what? 26 and 11. Jesus. Derek Christ. White, 18, 5. Al Hofer was the only starter, not in double figures, but Christoph Porzingis off the bench was. And again, limited minutes. That's a real bitch. So. I mean, that is a bitch of a team. Yeah. Because nobody went nuts. They don't have to. Exactly. They just all have to. They yeah. all have their different point when yeah. they make their impact. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like they pick and choose. Like That's actually, true. they don't. They re, They don't choose anything. They react accordingly. Mm-hmm. So if that person's in that area to make the play, that person makes the play. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. they're a team. And my brother Pete said this today when I was talking. Audrey, like, they're they're a complete team. This is the best team we've seen since the '86 Celtics. Even better than the, than the OA team. They, these guys are a team. Mm-hmm. Like the '86 Celtics, as great as Bird. Was in the kept They were a team. They were the best passing team in the NBA. They led the NBA in assists as a team. They were the best half court offense still I've ever seen in this game. Um, but it was because everybody, it was everybody. And Bird was Bird was the maestro. Bird was the guy who drove the foot. Yeah, but he got everybody involved. They all knew Dennis Johnson that year. Sixteen points, nine assists. Bird was the Mister Holland. Bird was third. Was that, it, was his, that was his third consecutive. Was it his team. opus? It was his opus. It was Bird's opus. What do you? I mean. Can we just have a quick conversation about conductors? Sure. Um, I don't know where he's going with this. What? Go ahead. Well, I mean, do you really think they make an impact? The maestro, the... I know next to nothing about music, so... But doesn't it kind of seem like it's all for show sometimes when I, you it, see the person doing You could this, be right. I don't know. And they're all playing and looking at him, and it's like, are you really telling them what to play? Or do they just know what to play? I don't know. You could be right. And you're just dancing with your well, arm in the air. The <sighs> thing about a concert is, it's like anything else. Could you forget something? Sure. Yeah. So with that guy in front of you, you don't forget. So there is that. Because I know I've there are games that game plans that I have knew and I made a mistake. I forgot something. And was there a maestro for you? No, there was not a maestro. You just have to... There wasn't a conductor. In basketball, and Derek White tonight was a perfect example, you have to... You know, you're going to make mistakes, whether it's poor shots or shot selection or whatever, but you have to minimize them. And the best way to do that is you focus on the next play. Whatever happened on the last play, focus on the next one. And that's what he does. And that's what on they do. The next, on, on to the next That's one. what the Celtics do. If the Celtics miss three shots, like tonight, they missed like four or five positions in a row. They just locked up on defense and didn't let the Mavs get any closer. Mm-hmm. They're just like, all right, we're not doing this now. We're going to stop them on defense. Like they can win. They can beat you in a number of ways. 
And that's what a championship team does. Yeah. They don't have a what the championship teams are rarely. It was interesting. They didn't take their first lead till when? Was it third, third quarter? quarter? Like fifty five something, right? Mm. No? It was the end of the second quarter. Was it 55 to something? 46-44. 46-44. They ended up going into half after trailing for most three, of the... three, that's right. Yeah, yeah they yes. trailed for most of the first half. They took yeah. the lead for the first time with like four minutes to go. Okay. And they never gave it back. Yeah. They Think about it. They never gave it back. They but, extended it. But they also it. never got too far ahead. No, they got the high was 14 was the yeah. highest lead. But it was three at the half. It was six after four. And they won by eight. After three? They, after three, it was six. And they won by eight. So think about no, that. No, it was it was nine after three because of oh Peyton Pritchard's three. Pritchard's three. Pritchard's three yeah. at the buzzer. Um, so it was nine after three. They won by eight. Steady, consistent, balanced depth defense. Mm. That's this team. Okay, they have BDD, balanced depth defense. That's BDD. BDD, balanced depth defense. <laughs> Sounds like some. Uh... <laughs> they are. Oh, it's the BDD. By the way, we have to close tonight with a. I don't know if I'd call it a two cents with Tommy Red, but he, Tommy gave someone a nickname today. And I think this nickname needs to be. You're getting too happy about this. I'm way too because it was one of your most brilliant things you've ever no. done. No. And it was it's off the cuff. Line. It's not th- this is how talented the man is. This is going to, when he says it, this was a throwaway line. <laughs> When you hear it, you're like, that's a throwaway line? No, that's money. That's not a throwaway line. <laughs> well, we had been talking about the whole day. Allow me to pat myself on the back. That's a throwaway line. <laughs> no, this that's shitty like, line. you kidding me? I throw, the thing in the, I throw that in the trash five it times. It keeps coming no, back. No, I'm just saying, it's not my best work, and you loved it. It's not. I'm saying that's how yeah. talented you are, that that's not even your best work. Yeah. But this is a good one, and I wanted to share it with you. And before you say it, Explain what's behind Yes, I'll give some context. So Please do. Please we were do. talking about all the fucking controversy with the WNBA and Caitlin Clark not making the Olympic <laughs> team, the Olympic team oh. and us disagreeing with that decision. Um, the and, then, and then kind of going back to, you know, how Tarazi talked about Caitlin Clark and not really liking that. Um, and her going for her sixth Olympics. A sixth gold medal. A <laughs> sixth gold medal. And you were just talking about how it's so pathetic the way they're treating her, blah, blah, blah. And you were saying how they were all bitter. And previously we were talking about the white mamba and how she's arguably the greatest women's she's, basketball yeah, player ever. Yeah, she's in the conversation. Ever. Yeah. Um, and you were talking about her as the white mamba. And then Kobe Bryant gave her that name. And then we were talk, you were saying how all the, these older athletes in the WNBA are bitter. They are. And I said, yeah, that's that's Tarazi, the bitter mamba. The bitter and mamba. You, and you almost shit your pants. The bitter mamba. The bitter mamba. Well, Kobe's the black mamba. So the bit, the bit, she's, she's the bitter mamba. She's the bitter mamba. She's no longer it's the like white the, mamba. It's like the seven mambas. There's she's, Droopy and there's everything. <laughs> she's the bitter mamba. There's bitter mamba. Okay, there's badass mamba. Okay, Who's there's badass mamba. mamba? I don't know. He's given a few. I, he's, Kobe Bryant has thrown out. He's throwing out mambas on people? There's a couple of them out there. I don't remember. Did Kobe throw that one out there? Kobe is the one who gave them, I think there's four of them? Really? I think there's four. There's three or four of them. And you think they're all warranted? Uh, He gave them the nickname. Like, he met them, they they were friends or whatever, Mm -hmm. and and he gave them a nickname. Were they all warranted? Uh, I don't know. Because a mamba is a pretty... I don't know... This is mostly this was, you know, this was Tarazi certainly. This seems was like all women's basketball players. Oh, all women's yeah. basketball players. So because Kobe became a girl dad and he was he bragged about it. He had like four daughters or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, um, so he really took a, a thing. I took a. He, remember, Gio, Gio Ariema talks about all the times they talked on the phone because he was he, Kobe. Yeah, because his daughter wanted to go there and they were talking. He was trying. How do I get her? And mm. Gino was telling him, "Look, look, look, look to get tell him to work on all this stuff." So they were. They had a relationship. How good was his daughter? What was her name? Gia. Gia. She was twelve and she was supposedly very good. Yeah. She was on a very. She was. She was the best player on her AAU team and but she was still young. But she. Yeah, that girl had a future. Yeah. So that would have been cool. Yeah, and it's you know that's, that that one's still she been kind of coming up around this time, right? It was in the, in the in the summer. Well, that summer was what four years ago. I think so, four or five. And how old is she? Was she like? She would have been sixteen now. Oh, 16? so she was what? She was, she 12, was twelve back 12. then. Okay, so yeah. so she still have quite a few years yeah. to go. But you know, I thought she was like twelve back then. But the thing is, like you know, they he 
he had that impact, and he and he took up he took the girls' game really under his wing. He worked with a lot of them, and um, INSQ talks about him all the time. Is she so. a mamba? I don't know. I don't know if, if he gave her a name or not. Um, I'm trying to remember what the names were. I th- there was a list of this uh, on uh, the story I was reading I like about the INSQ. about about uh, Tarasi and how he gave her the white mamba. He was she was the first one he gave a nickname. Dude, I really hope they so, start to combine on. the three point shooting contest. I think they might. I think it just needs um, to be integrated right yeah, now. But um, do you think? The, I think some of them could uh, make it entertaining. Yeah, Caitlin. Caitlin could. Sure. <laughs> Half of her threes are from beyond the fucking yeah, line. Yeah. I mean, if you're used to shooting five feet behind the line, what's the line? Okay. Right. Yeah. All right. That's. Like, I mean, so. Um, I think you give them you give them their ball behind yeah, the men's line. Ball, they, yeah. I think they shoot just as fine. They might. There was certainly, bring it it, it's, it's certainly a conversation. Yeah, yeah. It's not, a, it's not a slam dunk. No, I mean I and you against Curry so, was, it was pretty awesome. It was, it was good. Yeah, she hit twenty six, and she would have finished in the, in the semifinals of the men's tournament yeah. if she got in the three point competition. So that was yeah. what they, the point they were making. She'd yeah. get down to the final four if she had done that. So anyway, look, the thing is, um, Caitlin Clark, or rather the, the bitter, bitter, uh, the bitter Mamba, bitter Mamba, um, BM. I said the other night, and I'll say it again. If she were, if she really cared about the the growth of the women's game, what kind of a story would that be? If she gave up her spot to give it to this kid, what would that? What kind of story would that be? That'd be you pretty. You think that's awesome. the right thing to do? Yep. Really? I do. She's got five gold medals. Does she need another gold medal? <laughs> like, I don't fucking, know. I mean, I mean, look, I, I think she, that's a lot to ask. Somebody. I get you. I get she did it five times already. I know, but if it's this a was her to first, win a gold medal. if the, she's won five of them, <laughs> Caitlin will have plenty too. If if it's what <laughs> she already has the most ever. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? How greedy do you want to be? I mean, crazy. I'm gonna ask so, you, okay? But if you. Had a chance to go for your six gold medal, or or pass the torch. Say, hey, you go give it your all there, Buckaroo. <laughs> you'd you'd pull that. You'd buckaroo. pull that. Move. Hey, old chap. Buckaroo. Get hey, chappy. Hey, get in there. <laughs> go give him hell. I've had hey, my time. Hey, it's Seth your Rob. time. <laughs> hey, Jackie B. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> it's it's like a nineteen twenties baseball that is movie. Terrible. I would never say any of that shit. Hey, Curly Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Go give it your oh, all. Lord. Hey, Hannah Rand, get in there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Eddie. Anyway. You're up. <laughs> Batter up. The, 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 bitter, the, the bitter Mamba. And she'll never do this. She won't. I, I, I think she that could be a lot to ask. I don't think it is. I think the committee... If... The she, committee should put her on there. It shouldn't be a she player. Was, if you think about it. A player shouldn't have to go, she If you take think about spot. it, though, this is where this could really, in the eyes of the public, really really heighten, uh, brighten Tarasi's star. If mm. she, because think about what this storyline would look like. If she steps down and gives this to her, she's kind of the one that started this whole thing. I mean, think about it. So wouldn't it be fitting that she says, look, you know what? I was tough on this kid. She's played her ass off. She said all the right things. And by the way, she has said all the right things. Oh, yeah. Um, and she deserves to be on this team. I've got my five. I'm happy. And they can keep me as, a, as an alternate. If something goes wrong, I'll step in if you need me to. But this girl's like, give her, or she's earned a shot. You know what the fucking world, what a story that would be. <laughs> in an unprecedented move. Be hard to dislike to uh, so, I mean, uh, seriously, <laughs> who, who could hate on I'd her? I'd be like, all right, I'm a dick. All right. If she did that. Because, I mean, that, that's, that'd be a... I, dude, that's the kind I of would, shit. I don't expect her to do that. I don't either. But I'm I mean, saying that's, that's the kind of shit that make you make a movie out of one day. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that I would that's, And it that. ends with that music. Dun, 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 dun. Look, and mean, then Caitlin's like in the crowd with a tear goes down her <laughs> I mean, I can see myself being like, look, hey, I mean, she deserved this spot. You know, I deserve this spot. She I've, deserved it, too. I've but, had my time. But I'm not giving mine up. I'm sorry. I, I've only got one more of these. So I really appreciate her. I had to wait. You wait, sister. <laughs> Let me know. There's sim- not a person on this team younger than 26. If you're looking for sympathy. Stop between shit and shit. <laughs> 
But oh god, it, I can see you saying that. Stop What's, between shit and shift. Listen, <laughs> I don't even. I've never understood what that means. If you're looking for sympathy. Yeah. <laughs> Between shit and syphilis in the dictionary. <laughs> okay, now I get it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's good. It was good. Well, I remember well, the first time I talking heard about? I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, Tarasi, or if you were. Oh in that yeah, position. yeah. I'm just, I'm just yeah. admitting. Well. Like, but if you, I, if I you think had... it was on the committees. It was on the committee to put the right. She could. She's Diana Taurasi. I know, no, I understand. She she, could. Is, she has the power I, no, no, to do that. I understand. I just don't think it's fair. And by the way, what, what is the player? committee going to do? No. <laughs> no, I'm saying to start it off, it's the committee's job. The committee should have picked the right the people. The committee fucked up. Right. This is where Diana Taurasi's star could seriously rise. Hmm? She basically tells the world, these people are idiots. This girl deserves to be here. I'm stepping down. Put, give her this spot. And then will you? They're going to give it to somebody else. You should start a hashtag. They'll look like the biggest You should start a hashtag. This what would it be? What? Hashtag stepping down. Hashtag. Have, uh, hashtag do the right thing to Rossi. Hashtag pass the torch. Pass the torch to Rossi. I like how that rings. Okay, pass the torch to Rossi. Keep going. Keep going. Hashtag. Yeah. Hashtag. Uh, uh, bitter Mamba. Bitter Mamba. <laughs> Hashtag bitter mama hashtag, passed the torch. Hashtag washed up egg. <laughs> no. No. All right, pass the torch. PTT. Uh, hashtag slow hashtag ass white IDD. girl. Hashtag PTT. Slow ass white girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's terrible. Wrinkled ass Wendy. <laughs> Hashtag PTT. Uh, okay. Pass the torch. Pass the torch. My God. But no, would that not be cool if that actually happened? Yeah, yeah sure. it would be really That's cool. That'd be the feel-good story of the year if she That'd did that. That'd be crazy. It would be awesome. She's like, look, we were tough on her. That's the, you, know, you deserve this. Because honestly, the beating she's taken alone, she's earned it. <laughs> okay. that'd probably, you think about, that'd probably be worse for Caitlin. If she you, did that, they'd be like, oh, they give her everything. They didn't give her anything. She got, she got the shit kicked out of her for 11 games. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, didn't, they gave her a lot of beatings, a lot of cheap shots, a lot of that. But no, they didn't give her anything else other than a hard time. It's all they gave Dude, her. It was hilarious when Monica McNutt and Stephen A. Smith were arguing. Did you see that? Oh, she burned him. She hit him with a good one. <laughs> because, but I mean, look. That was I, the old backside I Georgia, eh, hey, Steve? I, I agreed with her on that a little I bit. I did too. Because... He tried to play off like first take talks about women's basketball so much. Yeah, he tried to carry that. And, it's all because of us. Um, and Monica, dude, do you have a do you have a diet for me? Um, no, sir. I was thinking more golden. A golden diet. Yes, yeah, a doctor. A do- oh, a doctor. A doctor. Sorry. Doctor. Thank a you, doctor. sir. Um, Appreciate it. No, the um. Sorry, where were we? Uh, the Tarasi thing. Um, about stepping down. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, no, but no, we're somewhere else. I don't know. Damn it. You threw it off. That's, the, that's not where we were. What? I mean, we were talking about that, but we had tangented. Again? Of course. <laughs> of course. Where did we go to? Um, Damn it. it. Was it the same sport? Well, okay, so we were talking about Tarazi. Uh, we have to backtrack here a little bit. No, stay with us. Bear with us, America. Yeah, so it's like you have nothing else to do. Like go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody watches this, it's not gonna be tonight. No, that's true. You'll be wide awake having your coffee. We should be you... off the air. It's twelve yeah, fifteen. Twelve fifteen. But we have to finish this. Let's, let's try to backtrack. To ponder. Okay. So we're talking, we were talking to Razi. Pass the torch. Yeah. Nicknames. Hashtag. 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 PTT. Yeah. Um, where do we go from that? <laughs> <laughs> Big Pipey is undefeated. <laughs> Every yeah. damn show that fucking pipe oh. has screwed up. Our- <laughs> that is insane. I'm trying. Hang on. And it's one of us every time. It always changes. We can't remember where the fuck we were. <laughs> have we changed off of Tarazi? I feel like we had. You might be right. That's the last thing I remember. <laughs> Let's just sign the fuck off. I don't know. God. Christ, the hell with it. <laughs> Jesus. What are we doing here? <laughs> 
put me out of my misery. <laughs> mm. Hold on. Hey. Let, me, let me shut the negative voice down. Yes. Yeah, yeah shut that guy down. He's I will tell you, for the last four days, my inner critic has just been taking a beating. Mm. Just pit, pat, pat. A little bit tonight, though. He's, you know, he's crept his way back in. Crept his way back. But it's not to be worried. Mm-mm. So, anyway. We shall win again. Game three is Wednesday night. Negative voice, you're gone. We will see you. <laughs> Go we, to hell. We will see you Wednesday night. Um, we're going to determine between now and then if we're going to stream it or whatever. Um, we'll see. They want to know what the stream. I don't know. Although, they, this is the game I think. This guy. We streamed the first game. Second one, no stream. Well, they won. Interesting. Not superstitious at all. It's a different team. I think we all know what's going to happen, and that's sure. why. But I will say There's this. No to me, this is the this, no is, this is the best chance Dallas has to win. Game three. Yep. If they lose this, it's over. <laughs> it's over. This is they could steal four. No. No, they're not beating them four times. No, no. I'm saying uh-huh. they could steal game four. Boston could still win game four. I'm just saying. I think this no, is I'm, Dallas. No, I'm saying is, Dallas has equal yeah. chance to win either one. Of those no, games. they don't. I think Dallas. No matter what happens in game three, Boston's going to win game four. So it's either a sweep or it we're going back. back to five. I think yeah. this is Dallas's best chance to win. Because you're going to get their best punch. The crowd's going to go nuts. The crowd's like, all right, well, now it's a series. And then Boston's going to take their heart in game four, for certain, if they don't do it in game three. Now, here's the thing. Is this the Jason Tatum game? Is this the one where he... The scoring put, game? Where he puts, he put, hangs 40 on I think we have, to, we have to... I'm wondering if this we, is the game. We, we can't just say the Jason Tatum game. We have to say the Jason Tatum scoring game. Yeah. Because he's doing everything else. He is doing everything games. else. He's averaging almost a triple right. double again. So sure, and he still hasn't shot well yet. I think it could be the Jason Tatum scoring game, especially yeah. if he hits a couple early threes. Yeah, he likes that. <laughs> he likes a couple net yeah. threes, and then he starts fucking. Yeah. I'm just then wondering. He has his confidence, or maybe like again, because Joe <laughs> Mazzulla knows that that that. Oh my god, <laughs> that was an absolute clapper. Hershey squirts. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was squirty. <laughs> it was clappy. It was squirty. It was absolutely that clappy. That sounded like... <laughs> Ketchup <laughs> bottle. That was squirty. Someone's going to have to watch. Someone needs to change your briefs. <laughs> imagine that air makes that sound. It's just, that's why farts are so funny. It's because insane. These fucking sounds it is insane. <laughs> the sound you hear, you're, like, you're, you're like, like, how did you not you want, shit you your want, pants you want, you want with that sound? How could something with that sound Here, not be a shit? Here's a topic to lay down to tonight. When you're lying there in bed, think to yourself, how many times in my life have I heard a fart that was so fucking outrageous? I was like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> There's absolutely no way how that's not a times, shit. That, you know, that, I think we could all ask ourselves that question. I think we would all say more than five. More than five times that's happened. In our lives. All of us. All of us. Have I mean, one of the most shocking farts I've ever heard. <laughs> one of the most... <laughs> he shit himself <laughs> One of the most shocking farts I've ever heard. Now, this wasn't a shitter. It was a shocker. Oh, was it? It was our friend, our Skatine. Friend. I won't say his full name. Skatino. But he busted it. Didn't, well, I didn't want to throw it out there. We're talking <laughs> about his farts. We talk about you. They yeah. hear yours all the time. <laughs> well, he, I'm I'm the dumbass on the show. <laughs> He's not. You're concerned with someone else's flash when you're just dropping bombs left and right on the air. No, I just I'm just saying I don't want to be exposing their flatulence. They don't it's care. Not mine. Nobody anyway. knows who he is. All right, fine. They couldn't pick him out of Craig, a lineup. Gregory Scatino, eight seven eight five Geo Push Lane. I didn't say give him his address. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you're worried about it. Washington, D.C., fifth floor, apartment three. Sweet 35. Tell, tell the Tom ass sent you. Unit 67. Unit 67, fifth floor, third door there. Behind the electrical closet. 620 in the shitter. <laughs> Ah. The <laughs> Take the stairs on your way yeah. down. Seriously. Um, so, we're not talking about that, all right? What are we talking about? I don't know. About? We did it again. <laughs> you said, we're not talking uh, about that. You didn't even know what we were talking I about. I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> God damn it, you threw me out. 
They're like, hang on a second. We're not talking about that. And I'm like, no. talking about what? No. I, I have no clue. We were talking about the Celtics going in there <laughs> and putting the hammer down. That's correct. Okay, and is, is this the game? Is this Jason Tatum? Is this the Jason moment? Tatum scoring? Is this the game he drops forty on him mm. and makes eight threes and fucking wipe? Is this that game? I'm wondering. I'm hoping. Mm. I don't. Again, I'm wondering. Well, because think about this. If he well, let's comes, think of some more thought he, names. No, but if he comes out in, in, in this game, game three, when everybody knows this one, Dallas is really going to throw the kitchen sink at him, Bang. and he drops him with a forty piece. What does that do for him? I, I mean, and the team. Like and this series is over if he does that. Dallas will quit. What Dallas is not going to want to think about. It. If you lose, if Tatum drop, if Tatum drops forty one Wednesday night, and maybe and I don't even know if he hits the game winner or whatever, but he puts it away. And if you're Dallas at that point, you're thinking, all right, we couldn't beat them when he was off. We clearly can't beat them when he's on. So what are we going to fight so hard for in, in game four for to go back up to Boston and get our ass kicked? Do you there? think they're going to fold? I think they'll fold if they lose game three. Mm. I'd be shocked if they if they lost game three, if they won game four. The only way that would happen is if Boston. You think they would if Boston in game four? I think they I think they'd die. They know it's over. Mm. No team has ever come back from 0-3 in the NBA playoffs. When, when you when, when your opponent plays defense like Boston, you're that's not the team you're coming back 0-3 from. It's not that it's not that team. Golden State, okay, they don't have defense. You know, they could have a couple bad shooting nights. Defense travels. Well, they also they also lost. Uh, Draymond for a game, which hurt him. Yeah. So they were they so, was three one. That wasn't three. That was three one. I know. Yeah. I know. Um, uh, but I thought that's why you brought up Golden State. Well, I'm just saying that um, Draymond was out for one game. They would still mm. lost two after that. They should have lost. Um, but um, the but thing, that that allowed it to happen. That allowed it to like. happen. They 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 with Cleveland was done. Yeah, they were ready to have the fork put in, and it was over. And then it was like, and oh, he suspended yeah, that yeah, game. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can win that one. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, boom. You can't give a good a good team momentum. So and that and again, this is what Boston has to realize. You can end this thing quickly, or if well, if they come back two two, this is going to go seven. I just can't I'll tell you right that. now. If, if Dallas wins the next two games, this is going to go. Well, then it, then it would make it seem like Boston's not Boston in no. Dallas, no, right? But, they, That's, but they've already won there. Exactly. So so this why is the other thing. Happen? Boston should. Well, this is the thing. Yeah. Boston has the ability to put these guys down and break them, break their spirit <laughs> Wednesday night. Do you and think just black the leather is, glove? Black is, leather glove. Just, I think they know this, but is Jason Tatum the guy that's going to do it? And after all the shit, he's and again, he has he's going he got bashed. He'll get bashed for tonight, even though he had a good overall game again. And defensively, he was better tonight than he was in game. He made three or four big defensive plays tonight. He had one yeah. block in game one. He made three or four big defensive plays tonight. He really did. He stripped Kyrie. He forced Luka into one of the dumbest turnovers you'll ever see in, in, on a basketball court. He spun him around. He was so flush, he just threw it over his fucking head. Fucking threw it over his head. Because Tatum had him so That well. was the one where he slid and traveled? Tatum, no, that was the third one mm. where Tatum got him in the lane. He got him to travel because Tatum, Tatum put his arm up. And he, oh, and he, he threw it and, he, and uh, Brown yeah. picked it off on the backside? That was the other one, yeah, where Tatum got him to backside spin. Backside Georgia? The backside Georgia. Where Tatum turned him around mm. and he, he, he was just so, he couldn't, he tried to fake and Tatum didn't go for it. He just, fuck it, and threw it over his head. And of course, Brown picked that pass off. Mm. Um, but the thing is, like he he defensively was very effective tonight. I and he had nine rebounds. The only thing he had to do different, there was a handful of plays where he was in position to get a bucket, to pull up jump and shot, he, and he passed it up. Yep. You know, for either he over penetrated or he passed mm-hmm. it out. He never just pulled up and took a shot. Yeah. And if he just turned half of those into mid range jumpers, I'm saying he's not. Seven he probably for has 26. He's not seven for 22. Yeah. To Tom's point, if he pulls up from 14, 13, 12 feet. Yeah. Because he could have done it all night long, and there's nothing Dallas could have done about it. He did. He didn't do it once. He didn't do it once. So that when you study film. By the way, I know this because I. This is what we would say yeah. to each other in the film session. I never studied film. Okay. Well, I'm saying this. You didn't play college basketball. But the thing no. is, like, look. So. In Parks what, and Rec, we weren't looking at. Film. What, no, probably not. You probably didn't have anybody helping you out. But in high school and Fresh, college. Freshman high school. No, probably not. Maybe you never know. Well, every now and then we yeah. would rewatch a game, but yeah. like we never even broke it down. I felt like. Yeah. See, we. I was taught from my father. My father could break down. I mean, just like look at this guy, because like you pick up, you go pick one. You'd start with how he taught me how to watch game film was pick one player, start with that. Okay, just watch him for the whole game and tell mm. me what he does, good and bad, and what you would do differently in those situations given the opponent. And then go to the next guy. So you understand all five positions. That's pretty interesting. That's how my father taught me how to watch film. 
because once you do that a number of times, not only are so you... So what's a, how long is a normal film session? I guess it depends. Well, if you break it down into quarters, you could do like two... The, the, the quarters were 12 minutes in... in or ten, I'm sorry, 10 minutes in high school. So that's 20 minutes. 20 minutes to, to watch who? Uh, well, when, at the point where I was in high school, I, was, I could watch all five guys. When I started, you know, when I was 10, I so started... So you watched the whole game just looking at the one guy? No, no, I'd, I'd look at all five of them. I could tell you what all five so you, guys so, so, did and did, did right and wrong. At the same time? At the same time. Oh. I could watch all... But I, I thought the, your dad was telling you to look at it one guy at a time. When I was young, so I was like, that's Jesus how... Jesus Christ, it's taking no, eight hours to no, watch No, my father, when I was young, he taught me that's how I learned how to do it, to do all five. He had me go one at a time and then do gotcha. a different every time. And then, all right, now do three. Okay. Now do five. So you worked up to it. Because, again, when you're 10 years old, you're not going to retain all that shit. Okay, but as you get older and you know what to look for, yeah, it's a reaction thing and you, you process it quicker. But if you never saw it or broken down film like that, then you wouldn't know what you don't. You don't know what you don't know. My father taught me that. So no, I mean in high but, school, if we ever watched a game, of course I was watching myself, yeah. even if I was on the bench. So, but my father, <laughs> my father was taught how to watch tape. He played Division mm-hmm. One college football. He, he all they did was break down game film. You know, because you play one game a week, you have five. You're in the film room three times a week, breaking down an opponent. But you know, first you do what what went what, good, bad last week. Then you got two films on whatever side of the ball you're mm-hmm. playing on. Yeah, I was never that so, deep in the sports. Yeah, so my father was taught how to watch game film, football, <clears> basketball. <throat> so he taught me how to watch it. That's why when I when I can see when I see something happen on a replay, I can tell you most of the time what went wrong. Yeah. So in both those sports, but with basketball, Jason Tatum has one thing to look at right now. Where are your shots coming from? Okay, and how where are you getting to? Can you and, and if I'm talking about Jason, can you hit a 14 foot pull up? Well, yeah. Well, why aren't you taking it? It's a good shot. Can you hit a ten? Yeah, well, why didn't you take it? It's a good shot. You're our best. You're our leading scorer. I would rather have you taking a three foot pull up jump shot than somebody taking a contested twenty three point four footer. That's right. Because I know there's a ninety percent chance you're going to make that shot or get fouled. Mm-hmm. So that if I'm Missoula, that's what I'm telling my best player before game three. Because honestly, if Tatum changes that one thing, the Celtics can yeah. put these guys to bed. Because Dallas is fucked if, they, if Tatum. I don't care what they Kyrie, can tuck him in. I don't care what Kyrie Irving does. If Tatum starts doing that, this is over. They can tuck him in. Yep, tuck him in. Put him in bed. You know, a little fold two. It, fold open it. the window for some extra O2. Yeah. Little O2. Maybe put a night light on. Yep, another light, light, light. Little night light. Yep, yep. So, mm. fascinating, wasn't it? Um, anyway, speaking of night lights, that's going to do it for our show tonight. Dear God, twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. We got to go to bed. Um, this is you guys, we will see you Wednesday night for game three. Until then, man up Monday, tip back Tuesday. Let's get her done, America. For the doubt of one, get Thomas J. is the highly <laughs> questioned one. Get her done. Let's get her done, America. You cannot end our show on get her done. I wasn't. I was about to say how I always ended. Well, I mean, but yeah, but that was your last comment this. before. And with that, and with that, baby. And with that, baby. <laughs>